guitar tip of the day. <coughs> We're going to focus on C, F, G. And I play a G chord like this, all right? And so should you. If you play it like this, you're just kind of wasting a finger out there, so you want to make sure you kind of... G's like that. If you're not, get used to it. Once you get used to it and your muscle memory gets worked out, it's actually more comfortable than trying to do this kind of thing where you're pulling your hand over. All right, so back to the C. We're going to pick up our ring finger, and then we're left with these three notes. We're going to play them all together. We're going to move up one fret, but we're going to pick up our four finger, we're going to lay down our ring finger on the B string. We're going to slide it up two frets. Try that first. That's all in the key of C. Now you can repeat this by going up here. Practice your vibrato a little bit while you're doing this. So you got a full scale here, right? I'm basically, I'm basically hitting just the two notes. I don't play that middle G string all the time, so as you put your finger across the strings, you'll deaden that G string. So rather than just playing a Especially if you're a second guitar, you can get away with more. So you can. So. extension to that. Another, I'm going to show you two other positions of C. So you get that obviously. Um, you all know how to play an A chord probably. Right, if you know that's A, you slide it up to, that's going to be a B, and then there's C. And a lot of you may know this chord, just like this. Does that look familiar? Because that's what I'm doing here, right? So if I'm playing C, well now you got the C chord here. C, right? Now, if you know the F chord, you know that that's a G. You slide it up two more, that's an A. Slide it up two more, that's a B chord, and then C. So you're playing three different positions. And suspend those chords. If you're playing a C chord, you're going to lay your pinky down here on the D string. And up here it's just going to be... Up here it's going to be. So that's it. It's a um, quick tip of the day. And this will apply to, and like if you went from a C to an F, guess what? Same kind of pattern here. So 
that's only, that's in an F. But the same concept, same pattern, same theory, if you will, in whether you're playing a C or an F. So where you say, hey, well, I want to go to G, that's the final chord. Well, guess what? This is a G. And if you can play this in F, you can go to G. know that this is a G. Now when I play these other positions, the other triads, I usually refer to them from a D position. So okay, this is a D, we move it up to, that's an E, and then F. F is right there. Look at, there's that pattern again, right? So for G, if you know a D chord, you know how to get to a G chord. Start mixing them up, you know? That's all it is, it's suspended, right? Up to. That's enough for today, C chord. <laughs>